Hello, this is Craig Bennett from the Android Media Network and Android Technical Support. And today I'm reviewing the PowerScan uh, MyTouch 4G case. Before I get started on this review, I just want to give a quick shout out to a couple of people on the MyTouch 4G forum. A couple of you were complaining about how the MyTouch 4G wasn't getting enough battery and uh, you were trying to find a way to increase it. There's two of the best ways that I know of is this a uh, cell phone case. Um, I mean, there's a third one which is carrying a battery with you at all times, but I'm sure almost all of you aren't. Gonna do that. And the the final way that I know the best way to save battery is using an application called Locale, which uh, you can look that up on the marketplace. The cell phone case as itself, the battery in it uses the same type of battery that's in the MyTouch 4G itself. The good thing about this is. You can expect the same longevity of the how long it lasts as the same as the MyTouch 4G. And the MyTouch 4G lasts usually between 8 and 12 hours, depending on how heavy you're using it. And for me, I was using it so heavy that it was lasting between 6 and 8 hours. And this increased the time from 6 hours to... Uh, between 12 and 15 hours, uh, if not more. The and the good thing about this is even if it increases it for about four or five hours, it's going to carry most people out through the day uh, because usually people are away from the charger for a maximum about 10 to 12 hours. The bad thing about this is purely the price the uh, price and how much it weighs. The reason why I'm bringing up the price is I did pay for this one myself so I'm not reviewing this as it was given it to me or whatever but the price goes between 30 and 80 dollars depending on where you shop and I shopped for this on Amazon and I got for around 30 dollars but if you actually look at a, a regular cost of a silk cone case for the MyTouch 4G, or any phone for that fact, and also the, how much a battery is, then you're going to get the same amount, and it's just going to save you uh, space because it's just forming a two into one. The, uh, the other bad thing was, is like I said, the weight. And... The best way I could describe this is if you had a heavy watch in the past, a uh, regular wristwatch, and um, then uh, if you are used to light ones and then you switch to the heavy one, eventually you're going to get used to it and you're not going to be used to light ones anymore. And that's the same feeling that as I got from this. At the first few days, it was kind of a pain and bulky, but after those first few days, it was it was all right. The good things about this is you have a button. Let's see if I can focus on it. A button right here. You press it, and it shows how full the case is. The it has uh, four lights. Mine. I just only shown three because I've been using it today. But the bad thing about this is you you can get the good thing is you get a average of how low and how high it is. But the bad thing is is you don't know where their high and low starts and ends. You don't know if the low ends at um, at zero or you don't know if the low end at five percent. You don't know if it begins at even 10 or 20 percent. 
but it gives you a general idea. And for the most part, you're probably not even going to use that because how this exactly works is just like a a wall charger. It, it plugs in with the regular micro USB cable. You plug that into the MyTouch 4G. Unfortunately, I can't show you that because I'm recording this with the MyTouch 4G. And it's kind of the only camera I got. But the actual uh, thing you plug it into there, it doesn't recognize it as a computer, so you don't have to worry about that. But it constantly charges your battery. So you're always going to have a little green or tan light in the top left corner of your my touch 4G. The the one of the major gripes I have with this is if this loses all its battery and it's going off the regular battery in the My Touch 4G, then uh, when you plug this in, especially if the battery's low, like five percent on your My Touch 4G, the and you plug this in, it takes a second or two for this to actually start charging your My Touch. And I'm guessing that's to not uh, suck down the battery in the case to the point that it won't recharge. But um, as I said, it, it's kind of a pain when you're trying to charge your phone right then or and then and now and you don't want to take it out of the case. The other bad part about this is, and the reason why I brought that this doesn't recognize it as a computer is, as you see right here, the side, it charges with the same type of cable as a MyTouch 4G. But when you got this plugged into the computer and you got your cell phone plugged into this, it the computer doesn't recognize this, the cell phone. In fact, it's like just charging anything from the computer. And uh, I, I believe that's because information has to be transferred and um, received to recognize it as a computer. And to get to do that in here, you got to have processors and a couple other things. And that's just going to add on to the cost and uh, weight. And that's probably the last thing that you want to do with, it, with a uh, cell phone case like this. Now, the major thing that I liked about this is it's a cell phone or it's a cell phone case. The reason why I'm bringing that up is many people that uh, get the hard cases experiences at one point or another. And um, if you've gotten cell phone or cell phone cases before and haven't gotten hard cases and trying to figure out if you want to get a hard case. This is pretty much the most important information that you're on here on this. Is and I and the reason why I can back this up is I took uh, both non-destructive and destructive uh, testing classes from NASA and uh, I got a whole bunch of degrees to back me up on this one. But um, basically, if you drop the hard case itself. What happens is, is the energy transfers to the majority of the screen or the middle of the phone. Where if you drop a a silicone case, the energy transfers out through the silicone because it's basically like dropping a plate, a um, you know just a regular hard plate, not a paper plate, or and dropping Jello. The Jello is pretty much going to stay together. It might crack here and there. But the plate's definitely going to crack no matter what you do. And um, that's it's the same type of properties. And that's one thing that most people don't recognize is if you got a hard case and you do drop it, the crack still happens in the phone. And, in fact, you probably even transfer even more of the energy into the phone because you add weight to it. And um, for every foot that you drop something, and this is on about, it's not, not a complete true statement. If for every foot that you drop it, it's just about 1G. Uh, up to when you drop something up to a couple a couple feet, then it stabilizes. And um, the as far as the cell phone case itself goes, I have accidentally dropped this a couple times. And it, it 
the one of the major bad things I, I seen before I got this case was if you drop your MyTouch 4G, the battery case in the battery comes out. And that's probably a safety feature to transfer the energy to something that comes out instead of something like the screen that's supposed to stay in. But uh, it, it's kind of annoying, especially uh, it, since the MyTouch 4G is smooth and you could slide out the counter on accident. And um, the, the cell phone case, the battery case doesn't really try to come out and the uh, battery is perfectly fine. And unless you're dropping this thing from like four, three or four feet or even more, you're probably not going to run into any problems and, um, unless if you do it on a constant basis. Now, as far as the cell phone case itself, um, I would give it a, if I had to give it a review, I would give it around a 3 out of 4. And the reason why it's not a perfect score is the weight and the cost. But as far as the battery goes, I would give that also a 3 out of 4. Uh, two separate reviews because the battery itself, you can get it last to about 15 hours. Um, you probably get more than that, but I, I, I kind of highly doubt that because most people get their cell phones last about eight hours, and, and since it's the same exact uh, battery that's in here, you're just going to pretty much double that, and that's as close as possible. You're going to double it. The one of the other things that uh, the reason why I'm giving it not a perfect score is the how it's made. And let's see if I can focus it in. The, the gaps right there, if you got this on HD, you should be able to see this. It has little gaps right here. And this is not a, a uh, bug, uh, a messed up uh, case. This is just uh, normal manufacturing. And basically, all it does is um, you can, at worst case scenario, if you had a skills, you can replace the case, the battery from the case. And it's probably the they're using glue or something like that to to uh, put a battery in. But um, the, the that's also the reason why I am giving it not a perfect score. Because what happens is, I'm not really sure if they're using glue or if it's um, all one material. But if it's glue, eventually it will wear out. And um, I only had this for like two weeks. But if you got this for months or years, you might run into some problems. And um, if I do, just keep this in mind, if I do run into those type of problems, because of the cost of this, I will put out a, another video review on uh, exactly the problem. So um, if I hadn't put out a uh, review, and right now it's almost the end of March of 2011, if I hadn't put out a review in two or three months, then chances are this cell phone case has done me well and there's no purpose of putting that one out. The and the reason why I'm giving it a lease of three is like I said the battery time, but also as you can see it has holes for the camera and holes for the uh, the actual headphone jacks. But uh, the the one bad thing I said is you got to actually unplug this to plug it into your computer and for it to read. But uh, most people don't even plug their cell phones in their computer, so you probably ain't going to run into that problem. Anyways, uh, this is Craig Bennett, for the root admin for Android Media Network. And uh, please check out my site, the appsforandroid.webs.com. I might be changing the link name to make it a more generic name soon, but uh, until now, I'm just going to keep it as it is. Um, hope you have a good day.